use the new Azure Functions tooling and install the preview of Visual Studio 2017. This installs side by side with other versions of Visual Studio. Then go to Extensions and Updates and Visual Studio Marketplace and search for Azure Functions. This will install the Azure Functions extension into your Visual Studio instance. This adds an Azure Functions item to the new project dialog under the Cloud node. So let's create a project. We're going to get two files, host.json and local.settings.json. Local settings JSON has two placeholder values for Azure Web Jobs Storage and Azure Web Jobs Dashboard. If you use any triggers other than HTTP, you'll need to set a value for Azure Web Jobs Storage. Now let's add a new function using add new item. Let's name the function HTTP trigger and then choose a template. These are the same templates that are available on the portal these are now optimized to work with class library projects. So if we open HTTP trigger CS, you'll see we have a class file. Notice the function name attribute. This is how you name the function that will be in the portal. Then you use triggers in the method for inputs and outputs. Now when we build the project, let's look at our build output. The tooling actually generates function JSON. Notice the folder name here, HTTP trigger C sharp. It's the same name as in the function name attribute. And notice how it generated a script file and entry point properties in function JSON. If you press F5, it'll launch the Azure Functions core tools. And it'll tell us the output URL for HTTP endpoints. So let's copy this URL and paste it into a browser so that we can call this API. This is just a Hello World API, so it returns Hello Donna if we pass Donna as the name. So let's make this more interesting and add a breakpoint. Let's call the function again, and now we can change the values in the watch window. And this value will then be sent to the browser. And you can also see it in the command output. So let's try a more interesting example. Let's try adding a queue trigger that actually triggers off of a message that's in Azure. So we get a real hybrid debugging experience we don't have to use only local resources. For connection, choose a key that's in local settings JSON. Here I'm choosing Azure Web Job Storage since I need to use that anyway. So now I, you can see the connection is here in the attribute. Now we need to set a value for that key. So the tooling doesn't make this automatic right now. In the future it will. For now, we recommend that you go to Azure Storage Explorer and then just copy and paste that connection string in. That's usually the easiest way to do this. You can also use the Azure function CLI with the command func azure fetch app settings. So now we're ready to run. Let's set a breakpoint and then we'll go to Azure Storage Explorer and create a new queue message to actually trigger the function. So the queue message text is I love Azure functions with just one exclamation point. And when the breakpoint hits, let's just add a bunch more exclamation points. And so notice that here, even though we're triggering off of a queue, we can still have a breakpoint. So you get a really rich experience that's very similar to what you would get if you're running in Azure. And you can see here, if we look at the command output, that we actually get all those extra exclamation points. So you can change values in the debugger and get all the features that you expect in Visual Studio. So let's look at a more complicated example. This is the coder card sample. What this does is it's a function that generates a trading card based on a person's face and uses the cognitive services emotion APIs to determine their emotion. So here we have a spa that's hosted locally and we'll upload an image. Here, let's choose a photo of Satya. And you put in the name and title and that's used to generate the card. So we have a breakpoint here that's just before the function saves the image. And we can see all of the values in our watch window. So for instance, we can see the result from the Cognitive Services Emotion API. So in this case, the predominant score is actually neutral with a score of 80. Happiness is only 10 and anger is one. So we expect to see a neutral card be generated in the web page, and we can see that happened. So let's upload a different photo. Let's try a happy face. So here we have Scott Guthrie. And let's put in his name. And title, let's put in Red Polo Connoisseur. 
And unfortunately, as you can see here, I cannot spell this word on demand. Um, but it's okay, because what I'm going to do is set a breakpoint here, and I want to change that value to something that I know how to spell. So let's change that to red polo guy instead. And let's keep going. And now we can see that the new value is here in the card that was generated by Azure Functions. So now, once we're happy with this function, we can just right click to publish to Azure the same way you would with a web app. And you can also publish to a new function or create an existing, select an existing function app that you have in Azure. To get this sample, go to aka.ms slash coder cards and get your own functions coder card generator.